but we'll just keep going. Okay, so I think this vase is going to have a big belly, and I think it's going to have a small lip. So I need to make sure that when I make my big belly on my vase, that I leave myself a lot of clay to come in on. So if I need this much clay to, to pull up and in, then my belly center is about here. So I have to kind of keep that in mind while I'm slowly pushing this out. When I make a vase, I make it look like I want it to look here, and then here, and the very last thing I do is here. Now I might have to collar now and then just to stay in control, but you don't want to try to make the whole vase at once. That doesn't work, for me anyway. I'm self-taught, so take whatever I say with a grain of salt. All right, so I need to come out to about there and then start to bring her back in because I'm going to need all this to make my skinny little top. And that's just pull wood. Do it again. I want to be in control of this top part. I don't want it to get away from me. I know every time I put my arm down and then I stretch it back out again, but that's the way it's got to be. I'm also down at the foot on the bat. I'm pushing in there because I want to make sure that it feels the same thickness down there. Right through here. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, there's something going on in there, but I'll just keep going. In fact, I'm going to get myself a rib and try to let this clay know who's boss. That just gets it real tight, you know, compresses the clay. All right, let's see. Do I want it more bulbous? I don't think I can because I got a little air pocket in there. It's probably going to explode on me in the kiln, but that's okay. All right, let me see if I like what it's doing. Mm, it's okay. Are you impressed, husband? <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful. I saved it. I get the water out of there before I close it up. If you don't compress and if you leave water down in the base of your pots, you'll have a higher likelihood of cracks, S-cracks. Okay. Okay, so I collar a little bit. And starting from here, just to keep it smooth, transition, then I pull it up a little bit all the way to the rim. 
Then I collar a little bit, slow down, all the way to the rim. You got to do a little at a time. If you try to go too quickly with this, you know what happens. The whole rim gets all like twisted. Again, I'm not really pushing on here. I'm just feeling the flow. Bringing it up. And then bringing it in. Now, I have a serious wobble up here at the top. That's going to, if I don't get it off of there, it's going to impact that look. So I hate to do it, but I'm going to thin this out a little bit. And I'm going to cut that off. I'm literally going through the clay and poking my inside finger with my needle tool. Not to the point where it bleeds, but I did feel the poke, so I knew I had my clay cut off all the way around and then I need this rim to look as natural as possible so I always work my rim a little bit if I have to cut it off I don't like it to look cut off Okay, for this part to really look bulbous, this part has to get really small. Remember, it's only five pounds of clay, so you can just do so much. So I collar it in all the way to the rim. And then bring it up. Gently, gently, gently. You don't want any drag, that's for sure. Six, six points of contact. Start here. Feel the transition. I'm not pushing very hard there, and I'm just gently bringing it up. I had to loosen a little bit as I got to the top because I could feel it start to pull. Um, Billy, if you can get a picture of this, I mean, I'm not, again, I'm self-taught, but my elbow is locked into my thigh, my thumbs are locked together, and I am only touching the neck of this pot with two fingers, these two fingers, inside and out. That's the only thing that's actually touching the clay, and it's a very delicate touch. But the reason I have to be all locked down is that I have to be still and tell the clay where it's going to go. Okay, I have to see what that looks like. Well, not horrible. So then, before I completely lose this cute little pot, I'm going to take my wonderful little red rib that I use for just about everything. Give this neck a little compression. Make this look the way I want it to look. Do you think the neck needs to be skinnier, honey? I don't think I can do it with this piece of clay. Uh, 
I will cut a little bit away from the bottom. Not too much because I was pretty good at bringing that clay up. Now I'm going to stand back and see what I think. Huh. Don't video me, honey. I still got that 20 pandemic pounds to take off. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I would like to come in here more, really tighten it up, but I'm scaredy cat now. Can't get my fingers down on the other side of it. Yeah, I like it. Thank you, dear. Thanks for watching, everybody.